that time, the problem was within the, the city. I, it, it was not only in Toy Market where eviction was done. So the eviction was all over the city. They were demolishing informal areas. Uh, they were demolishing informal markets. So we had very many, very many slums where people were going for, for, for legal support to Kituo. So during that time when we met at Kituo, it is when we started knowing uh, each other because uh, we, 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 when we were waiting for, for lawyers' advice, we talked. Where do you come from? I come from Madare. Where do you come from? I come from Western. Where do you come from? Mukuru Industrial Area. From Remaili Saba. What's the problem? The chief has evicted us. Why? Because uh, he wants the grabbers to take the land. So there was a lot of eviction within the city. So then from there we started asking ourselves, what can we do? So that now we can, uh, we can uh, protect our rights of doing business and also homes in the slums. So we said we must come together. Because most of the people knew whenever you are in an open area like toy market or when you are in Kibera, if you want to put up a structure, you must go to the area chief. When you go there, if the space is there, they will tell you uh, if you want to put a, a structure or two rooms, you pay this money. So you pay the chief with the, the village elders. So once we are allocated that space by the, the by the administration, automatically you know that is a, a, a government office which is genuine, and also it is a presidential office because the, at the chief's office is risen the office of the president. So most of the people knew once you are given a, a, a space to put up a structure, it is a government uh, 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 recommendation for you to be there. So most of the people knew that way. But when they find that uh, now the chief was the one who was working with the land grabbers and evicting people, so, so people started thinking, if the chief, they are the ones who gave us this space and we gave them money. And now the chiefs, they are the ones who are evicting us. Then where do we go to ask for assistance? So there is nowhere. So we should have to come together and look for alternative ways of uh, fighting these evictions. So that's why now we started forming the, a team. We first of that, first of all, we formed a team of 13 members. We had each 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 village had one representative in that committee of 13 members. And then uh, from Adare, Korogocho, uh, Mairisaba, Kingston, Mukuru, Wanjenga, Kwaruben, and uh, Western Market, Kamai Village, which is at Kenyatta University. So we had representative in that team. So we started uh, doing private meetings. And most of the meetings mostly was for 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 sharing the experiences of evictions and trying to see what can we do as a community to stop these evictions. And you see that time the, the, the chiefs act Section 2A of the Constitution of Kenya was very powerful. There is nowhere you can challenge the chief. The, 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 the Constitution has protected their, their powers. So once they, they say you are not supposed to hold a meeting, you cannot hold a meeting. They arrest you. So we used to, do, to go to charges, we used to go to NGOs offices where we cannot be found. So finally, we, we, we realized that there was a problem on land issue. After sharing how people got the land, how we came to do businesses on these spaces, we came to realize that the Constitution of Kenya uh, doesn't allow everybody to give land, but there is that uh, powers which is uh, under the president. So it comes down to the area chief and the, and the OASIS. So they use it. So, but it is not a legal process. So that's why when the chief gives here space, it is not the final person. The Minister of Land and the, the City Council of Nairobi were, were the offices in charge of allocation of land. But this one of the area chief were temporary allocations. Even the president, unless and otherwise you process, even if he has said this is your land, that starts political statements which cannot support any 
any anything you say in court. So now we started uh, organizing for awareness meetings, telling people to know that the land is under the Minister of Land and it is under the, the Commission of Land and the Nairobi City Council. And if you once, once, once somebody comes to evict you, you must have a court order. And before the court order is issued, you must go to court. So that now you can you can you can you can give your side the story of your side, how you came to that land. And then the owner of the land also could prove to the court. But most of the lands you find that the titles of all the security of Denya, which they were using, most of them they were not genuine uh, security of Denya. Some of them were fake, some of them were you find somebody having a title of Mombasa, he can use it in the room to evict you. Once you are evicted, it is when he goes to process for allocation of that land. Some of them they used the 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 the, 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 the lawyers lawyers letters letters written by the lawyers and they sent to the area chief and the chief stamps that uh, a letter and they used it for eviction. And when they come to the meeting, the chief was the one to mobilize people and say, today I'm here because you are using somebody's land. And I'm told that you are supposed to leave this land by such and such a date. So if you don't leave, I will come by force. So immediately people start moving one, one, one. Did you? You clear the land. And if you don't clear the land, they come and burn that area, or they come with youths, they evict you, or they come midnight. They used to do anything. They come with the bulldozers, they, they, they pull down everything. So it was very harsh, it, is, it was a violation of rights. So when we were creating awareness, we were also mobilizing people to, to, to show the solidarity. Whenever, if we destroy market being affected or threatened for eviction, now because we have done awareness in the order of Nairobi, so immediately I will in, inform them that we have been given a notice of eviction. So please, it is to be taking place on such and such a day. So please can you come and support us. So we go to that area and, and stay vigil to make sure that uh, we support. If there is, there is that force coming, we will, we will fight. We were ready to fight. We were ready to, uh, to resist. We used to go and sleep there the old, or even three days, waiting for those people to come. Sometimes they don't come because they know we are many, because we can go even 500 people and come there. So we used our tactics to, 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 to influence more people, see that this is the only way of protecting our, our homes and our businesses. So later the number increased to 45. Because the, the, even the people from uh, the river, which is uh, environed to Nairobi, it's about uh, 60 kilometers away from Nairobi. They also joined us because they had also a uh, problem of evictions. Uh, we had people from um, outside Nairobi. So within the Nairobi city and the, in its environment, we had about 45 members of that committee. It, that's what well, that was us from 1998 to 1999. And then from that time, because we had a lot of press, a lot of demo demonstrations, and even though we were doing that, also the government was still evicting other people. We were there, we fight with the police, they use tear gases, we resist, we rebuild the market, if it is the market, if it is the village, we rebuild it. So it was a lot of chaos all the time. Today we are in Kibera, tomorrow we are in Patare, the other day we are in Korogocho. So it was... It was just uh, uh, a rapid eviction which was taking place, and also now we were. It was, it was like helping us to mobilize more people. So we did so until 1999, when now, uh, 1998, when the president came at Hoodley, we we crowded along the road and uh, put up some panels demanding that. We are not comfortable because we are getting threats all the time that one day we are going to be evicted. So the president says, uh, if one wants to evict you, he 
must show you where to walk before you are evicted. So it was on the Gazette. So it is started reducing that evictions because it is a present who has said, if you want to remove people from this land, make sure you show them somewhere, not just chasing them and leaving them around the road.